I chose to do Romeo and Juliet as the first play of my first year as sole artistic director because it was the first play that I really fell in love with. It's a play from my teenage years and I've never directed it before but I've always been kind of quietly obsessed with it and I've seen so many wonderful versions over the years. It felt like a great place to start in my first year. Romeo and Juliet would have to be one of the most famous plays ever written. So when I was thinking about doing it, and I was also thinking about the wonderful productions over the years, including the Zeffirelli and including Baz Luhrmann's amazing contemporary film from the 90s, I thought that I actually wanted to return to my roots with it. And so our production is going to be set in period. And it's important to note it's not a museum production, but I'm inspired by the 16th century and it'll be full of beautiful frocks and full of romance and, um, and theatricality. I'm assembling a fantastic cast. It's being led by Kelly Pataniti, who was last in Canberra with our production of As You Like It, and she's taking on Juliet. And then this wonderful young actor called Alex Williams, who's probably better known for television, that he was playing um, Julian Assange when they did that film about him. And also he was in the In Excess film. He's a kind of really dynamic young actor. We've also got old favourites that Canberra audiences will know, like Michelle Doak and like Angie Milliken, who I'm really excited to be working with again. Not only is 2016 my first year as artistic director of Bell Shakespeare, but it's also 400 years since Shakespeare's death. Romeo and Juliet is arguably Shakespeare's earliest great tragedy. It's a perfect way for us to celebrate this anniversary and a great way for new audiences to Shakespeare and old audiences to Shakespeare to return.